Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I had a request a couple weeks ago to show this program. It's called SDR Angel, and it works like, well, similar to SDR Uno, but the learning curve is horrendous. It's not intuitive of what, where the controls are. I still haven't found a volume control, and... Um, but it, because of that, it has a lot of features. And it can display a lot of things on the graph here. You can use these little icons to change the display, what it displays. Like there's another display up here. Yeah, that says you have to hover over it. It says display live spectrum. Okay. And then the one down there is display waterfall. This is the waterfall. And you can change the frequency up here. You can change, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, mode, the decoding mode. <coughs> so it has a ton of features. But two years ago when I first tried this, I was overwhelmed with it. And I played with it for a couple hours. And I, I just gave up. It was just beyond me to learn all the functions. But if you're willing to devote a lot of time, this thing has overwhelming features. Uh, features for saving presets. Here's a preset that I put in one time back then. It's a great program. It's just very difficult to learn. And unfortunately, I can't do a review of it again because I spent an hour and I still don't know how to use it properly. So I apologize to the gentleman that asked for a review of this again. Again, it's SDR Angel. It's free. You can get it off the internet. Just search, sort, just search for SDR Angel. I don't think we look at help. Uh, no. It doesn't have a built-in manual or a link to a manual. Now let's select about. Here it is. Uh, it's copyrighted 2015 to 2019 and that, that's probably extended because I haven't updated since 2019. I'm looking for documentation. Let's just try that. There it is, documentation. Uh, click on the link to the left. Okay, click on this one. Okay, here's the documentation. And this is really the documentation of the innards of the software. Not what I was looking for. Um, so this is talking about the, the application itself. So let's go back and interactive swagger UI documentation. I have all. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, this again talks about the software itself. The inner part of the software, the actual programming of the software. So it gives a lot of details about that. But I haven't found, and this is probably what may, led me to stop looking into it before, is... I haven't found the actual documentation of how to use it. And it looks like it doesn't exist. Maybe it's buried in here someplace. I can't find it. So, as I recall, that's why I gave up on it. It was just very complex 
and I did not find a user manual, added documentation for Spectrum Markers Dialog. That's just one, one little piece of the program. And you can see some of this stuff was updated. You know, like this was updated. Updated versions and change log. That was updated five hours ago. So the gentleman that wrote the software is very active. I just, I don't see. Moved most of information from README to Wiki. Okay, let's just click on that. Two years ago. Uh, again, it's the code. It's about the code. How do you use the program? Anyway, uh, again, I apologize to the gentleman for not doing a demonstration because I really don't know how to use the program. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If anybody else knows of a video, for instance, or some documentation of how to use this program, let us know. Bye-bye.